All right, um, I'm not going to claim this is the best program I've ever written, but uh, it did get the job done. Um, so we're going to first initialize um, or um, set up some uh, values for uh, our variables. So we're going to have a read signal, a write signal, a reset signal, and then the three address lines. And that's this is how I have them wired into the Arduino. Um, Arduino has a really weird system of naming pins and stuff. Anyway, these are the pins that are um, uh, wired up on my board. Um, and then we're going to do the uh, one-time run program. There's a subroutine that gets run once before it runs into the loop, the main loop, uh, the setup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set all the modes of the pins. So these are all outputs. So we're going to set all the pins to outputs. And then uh, the reason that I use the D port, um, I want to use it as an 8-bit port. Um, there's some tricky commands that you can use. You might not be familiar with these. So if you actually look at an atmel part, there's actually a register for each port that you can set the uh, state of those pins, whether they're inputs or outputs, and whether they have a pull-up resistor or not. And if you do a command called DDRD, um, and it just sets the D registers um, values for control. If you set them all to ones, then all the pins are set as outputs. So that's kind of a tricky 8-bit thing. Um, and then we're going to initialize the states of the lines. Uh, this, these are the reset states, um, highs and lows. Um, we're going to reset. Um, and uh, if we go down, uh, the reset. Uh, command just uh, pulls the reset line low and then pulls it back high again so it just pulses the reset line um, and then we're going to use another tricky command for 8-bit programming which is port d so if you actually set the value of port d this is uh, the the bits that will be set so i'm setting the uh, uh, lower two bits which sets the brightness to 100 percent and I'm going to do a right, which pulses the right line. Um, and then this is the main loop. Um, maybe I should have only done this once, but I'm doing it over and over again. Um, I'm going to set uh, the address lines to digit 3. And you can see that down here. Digit 0 setting is 001. Digit 1 is 101. Digit 2, digit 3. You get the idea. There's also a control register, which is 110. So I'm going to, um, uh, and that's what we did here. Control was the one that set that address lines correctly. And then we can, um, let's see here. Oh, that's interesting. Port D. And then write. Oh, that's right. So I'm just setting the uh, address. I'm going to set the value. And then I'm going to do a write. Um, and then the loop is uh, digit 3, I'm going to put a T, digit 2, I'm going to put an E, S, T. You could write a better uh, routine here that uses a string and everything. I just wanted to get it up and running and see if it works. So T, E, S, T. Um, and so it should display T, E, S, T. Um, and that's all there is to the program. So quick and dirty, uh, just get it up and running, make sure it all works. Let's go take a look. All right, uh, so I have ground connected, and uh, here I'll put some power on it. There we go. DEST. Let me turn the lights off so you can see it better. Oh, geez. Uh, that's really blowing out the camera, isn't it? Interesting. <laughs> I'll turn the lights back on. And try to shield you from all the... Uh, all the bad lights. Let's try this. Uh, that's a little better. I don't know why the camera's blowing out. There we go. Uh, I uh, turned the room lights off and uh, set the uh, exposure value of the camera to something more reasonable <laughs> so you can see it better. So. It's a very nice display, um, but it does take a lot of current. It's drawing about 100 milliamps right now. If you have all of the uh, See, can I 
no, I can't do a can't do a reset. But if you have uh, all of the uh, LEDs on, it takes about 130 milliamps at full brightness. Um, so it's not the uh, most power efficient, but it's really really pretty. It's an uh, emissive display. Um, looks very very nice. So figure out something to do with it. <laughs>